Hey, welcome back. We are now on day number 22 of the Indie Game Development Challenge. Um, we've made some pretty significant progress. I think this is not actually day 22, it's probably more like day 25. I just haven't done any uh, videos, which is turning into a recurring theme. But uh, anyway, some of the major updates. Uh, we've got new units that have been imported by Stuart, our uh, wonderful artist and we are in the process of now integrating these new units and animating them and turning them into uh, actual uh, gameplay objects that will be flying around or driving through the level. So uh, the first unit we have on our list is our tank. This guy shoots at other tanks. We have seen him many times already. Uh, the second unit that we have is our uh, anti-aircraft artillery tank and he will shoot at uh, any aircraft within the vicinity with uh, howitzer shells that explode roughly within the uh, proximity of the airplane. Uh, the next one that we have is our uh, AA gun. This is like a four-barreled cannon that will shoot uh, many machine gun bullets up into the air and they uh, kind of follow a prey and spray strategy in terms of uh, hitting aircraft out of the sky. Next on our list is our artillery howitzer cannon. This guy uh, is already kind of animated and he's got a pretty neat uh, uh, shooting animation. Uh, this, uh, actually, before I get into that, um, all three of these units have, um, are actually just programmatically uh, animated. And generally that's an okay way of doing things, but uh, that does make things a, a teensy bit brittle. Uh, the smart way to do it is to create a scale mesh, uh, rig a bone up to your uh, unit, and then drive the animation via a animation blueprint. And that is what I'm doing with this unit. So the way this is moving is a little different from the way these move. So um, I might end up updating these to follow this method. Um, one thing we can do is we can change the elevation of our turret and then if we also wanted to we could go into our animation blueprint which is right here and we can also view the way that uh, it does its uh, shooting and to do that you just turn this shooting on and then you can kind of like see the shooting animation it's kind of cute and this is just looping really fast, but um, you'll usually just do one shot and then uh, wait for a couple seconds for that cooldown period to fire or complete, and then you fire again. Um, this was an interesting way of animating because this combines a state machine with a per bone modification. So within the state machine, we've got uh, are you firing? If you are, or actually if you're not firing and you want to fire, then you play the firing animation. Once the uh, animation gets turned off, then you stop firing. It's very simple. Um, oops. So after we finish the, the state machine, we pass in the animation transform, and then uh, we, we can do some additional uh, per bone animations. In this case, um, if we get the uh, elevation of the turret, we can apply uh, uh, up and down movement to the pitch of the, the gun, and it also modifies the bones for uh, these two pistons, or hydraulic booms, or whatever you want to call them. Anyway, the end effect is pretty neat. You can move the, uh, the elevation just like so, and this is all being driven with that animation blueprint that we just looked at. Uh, next on our list, and these are not animated yet, but uh, they are coming, we've got our anti-tank gun. This is a two-barreled beast that will shoot uh, uh, anti-tank projectiles at any uh, oncoming vehicles, including tanks. Um, this gun right here, I don't really know what this is going to do. So if you have any ideas, just leave some in the comments, and I will probably try to uh, read them all and add them in. 
time permitting, of course. If you leave a comment like a year from now, I probably won't see that. But I'm thinking this might shoot rockets or some other nonsense. Um, then last but not least, we also have a four-barreled gun that uh, is also kind of like a defensive turret for shooting down aircraft. And it's very similar to this guy, guy right here. It's just uh, a little bit smaller. So the behaviors are going to be roughly the same. Um, we've also got uh, our player airplane now. I'll show you how that works. And this is also using the uh, animation blueprint system that the howitzer used. So it's actually turning out to be pretty versatile. I don't care about this. Why are you showing me this? Oh. So our airplane is now actually very similar to what the similar in behavior to what uh, the finished product is going to look like. So the propeller rotates. Oh jeez, I got a bug where these guys are shooting anti-aircraft out here, and they are intersecting with my sensory component, which is perceiving that as damage when it's really not. Anyway, let's do this really quick before we take too much damage. But you can start flying, and then as you increase speed, your aircraft uh, landing gear retract, and you actually level off to. Jesus, we need to delete these guys. Alright, let's try this again. So these are just like little cool polish features that are fun to look at. And it gives your plane more of a, a, a sense of actually being an airplane. Of course there's no like real flight mechanics yet in terms of physics. So you can... Who's shooting at me? What? I got shot by my own allies. That's a bug. Anyway, this is very much still a work in progress game. So uh, there's always going to be bugs like that. Uh, last but not least, we've also got uh, some very beginning semblances of what our level design is going to look like. This is being done by the wonderful John Castro. So uh, he has built uh, the very first uh, pass on what our level uh, might look like. So we're starting to get an idea on what the background is going to look like. So I'm pretty excited. We've got uh, beautiful trees, uh, we've got mountains, and we've also got clouds. Um, Another thing to keep in mind is that these clouds are also placeholder, so um, these are going to uh, probably change in uh, shape quite a bit, and I will also make them look a lot more fluffy rather than the uh, round gray spheres that we have right now. But I'm pretty excited. This game is starting to uh, take shape, and it has uh, come quite a long ways in the six weeks that we've been working on it. I think. Uh, I, I hate making promises, so I won't make any promises, but the goal here is to at least uh, try to shoot for the end of March as a completion date. Now, keep in mind, I thought this was going to be a two-week project, and we're now at six weeks, so if I think we're going to be done with this game in three weeks, I'm probably crazy, so realistically this might be uh, another month and a half or two months worth of work before we actually get to uh, a shippable state, but whether it takes a month or two months or even three months, um, I really don't care about how long it takes. My, my goal is to make the very best game that we can make to uh, bring the most value to our customers so that they can play a game that's uh, fun and worth their money. And if we can do that, then I think it's a success. So, um, yeah, that's that's kind of a, the focus of uh, where we're going with this game in terms of production values. Create something great so that people have something that's worth their money. Anyway, that's it for this update. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more. And... I probably won't be doing videos on a daily basis just based off of my 
past performance, but uh, anytime I have cool stuff to show, I will certainly upload videos. Thanks. Till next time. See you later. Bye.